Hi, I'm Lisa Michelle, and I like creating content to help new and aspiring entrepreneurs start and grow their first online business. So a lot of us have either Etsy shops or websites where we're selling digital items, either printables or other digital downloads. And the question will often come up, you know, how do I send this product to the customer once they make the purchase? How do I get that item to them? in a branded way, in a nice way. So I did another video where I showed you how I share digital files with customers who actually are purchasing um, an editable document, something that they can edit in Canva. But what if you are selling something that's not editable in Canva, or you just wanna actually deliver the document without them having to have a Canva account at all? So I'm gonna show you how you can do that using Google Drive. And I'll go ahead and link the other video in case you do have a file that's editable in Canva. I'll link that in the description and I'll put a card here so you can watch that video. But this one is in case you just wanna share a, a file where there's no, they don't have to have a Canva account, there's no Canva involved. All right, so first of course, you'll go ahead and create your file, which I've done here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and download it as a PDF print. All right, so I have that. The next thing is, of course, you'll have to have a Google account. And so I'll go to Google Drive and I'll add that document. I'll add the file that we just created. And my screen, my recorder is in the way, okay. So I'm just gonna upload that there. So once it shows up here in Google Drive, you'll double click on that and then you'll see, you know, your actual um, file come up here. Over here, you'll click on these three dots and go to share. And then down here where it says get link, you want to make it so that you'll change it to anyone with the link will be able to open this. All right. So click on change to anyone with the link and it'll be restricted only to those people. So anyone with the link now on the internet, we'll be able to view this actual file, but you're only gonna share it with people who actually made a purchase. So no one else on the internet will be able to Google and find your item. So you'll get the link and you'll click on copy link. So now we'll go back to Canva and you wanna create something that's branded. So this way, when your customer makes a purchase, you can share with them this, okay? And I've added a QR code here, which would actually take you to my website. So you can do that in Canva. That's actually over here. If you go to QR code, you can put in your website here and generate a code. And then you can actually add that onto your document. So people who see that can scan it with the camera app on their phone and be taken to your website. So that's just another added um, you know, way to just kind of brand yourself when you're sharing your files. So now we have this, you know, this document that they'll receive when they make the purchase. So in order for them to be able to click on this to be taken to the item that they purchased, you wanna click here or wherever. I mean, you can design this however you like, of course. But since I have click here for your chart, I'm going to highlight this, go here to the hyperlink um, symbol, and then right click to paste in the file, um, the link to the Google Drive, all right? So I've added that, and that's, yeah, that's there. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and download this as a PDF as well, all right? So now once someone makes a purchase, either on your website or on Etsy, this is what they'll get. They'll see this, okay? And you can see the QR code is here. If you were to put your camera app on that, it would take you to a website. And if you click here, it will take your customer to you know, the Google Drive and they'll be able to go ahead and download the item that they purchased. So I hope that's clear. If not, definitely go ahead and just rewind it. But it's a good way to share on you know, digital files with a customer where you don't want them to have to have a Canva account, even though they can get a free account. You may want to just go ahead and just share a document where they can just simply go to Google Drives and download it. So 
That's it. Now, if you're actually selling digital files, I'm just wondering, let me know in the comments, how do you share your files with customers? If you don't do it this way, I'm just curious, how do you share your digital files with your customers? Let me know. I'm interested in knowing. All right, but that's going to do it for me. Uh, if you like these types of videos, please subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. And um, until next time, thanks for watching and peace.